What's happening, YouTube? It's your homie Tarek, aka Tax, with a topic that's kind of hush hush on the low concerning this game. All right, it's it's kind of uh, transparent, if you all ask me. But a newbie in the game, at least in my time, didn't know about this. Now it's everywhere. But topic of steroids. Steroid use and steroid abuse. Alright? So, I'm talking about the pros and cons of taking steroids. What I think about steroids, if you want to ask me my opinion about this, if you ain't going pro, don't be a hoe and take some juice, you know, just to look good, man. man I, I feel that's kind of girly, man. If you, if, you, if you can't put in the work, <laughs> work on your body in the gym, you're gonna keep injecting yourself and you think that this is gonna make you or break you. This is gonna make you great? Fuck that, man. It ain't gonna make you great. I have no respect for someone that juices up just to look good, man, for a t-shirt. Fuck that, bro. If you about that life, man, I ain't. But, if you wanna step up the stage with the big dogs, you gotta do what the big dogs do, my homie. You can't go up on the big dog stage and oh 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 howling all right and you fucking look like a chihuahua man you can't do that bro all right let's talk about the pros and cons number one pro massive colossal gains man you're gonna go from a fucking cylinder man toothpick looking motherfucker <laughs> To fucking look like Hercules with a godly body, man. Everybody loves that, man. That's number one massive gains in a short period of time. Right? Number two, strength. Your weight, man. I've seen this, man. Your weight's gonna jump from one plate, right, to two plates on a chest bench press. That's it. Like no fives, no tens. 20s, I ain't going, and he's gonna do fucking same rep range that he was to do with that 20, with a 40. Damn, man, that's a lot, man. I mean, that's, you're gonna be really strong. You're gonna be one of the strongest guys in the gym. You're gonna be facing those huge gorilla looking motherfuckers if you do so. Yeah. Number three. Number three is cuts and veins. You gonna be looking like a fucking road map with all directions throughout your body, man. Yeah, you're gonna have a huge veiny looking physique. Yeah, people will look at you and feel like that you got the treasure map and your veins are the road map to the fucking treasure. Which is fucking juice. That's the treasure, man, for bodybuilding. You can't, you gotta juice up to look good on stage, man. But not necessarily, man, I'm gonna prove you wrong, and there are some good-looking, natural bodybuilders. But, hey, man, that's the sport. Number four, fast recovery. You ain't gonna feel no pain. There's no pain and gain. If you're juicing up, there's just gain and more gain. <laughs> My homie, no pain. Alright, so you, you might get some shoulder injury, some leg snapping, but you ain't gonna feel it until you stop your juice. And once you stop your juice, I'm all cracked up, man. You ain't gonna feel it, bro. With juice, you ain't gonna feel shit. You feel like a fucking rock. Rock is solid, man. All the time, wherever, how much weight, it ain't gonna break you. But once you stop, those checkers gonna... Dominoes gonna fall down. Not necessarily, but if you're going heavy weights, they ain't feeling shit. That might happen. I'm just saying. It might happen, man. Alright. Your libido, libido loca, is gonna be to the roof. Man. Rock solid, man. You're gonna see a fucking hole on the wall and you will wanna fuck it. You're gonna have a sexual frustration and we want to fuck a fucking hole on the wall. That fucking bad, man. I, I, I mean, people have told me, man, that I get 
fucked up where I want to just fucking do anything. And that one guy was trying to sell me this product, man. He was trying to sell me some juice. And he was like, bro, you're going to have like fucking hard erection, bro. You're going to have 24-7. I'm like, bro, you're selling me some juice. You're so fucking selling me Viagra, man. Anyway, this is just, this is a must. This is a, a plus while juicing. La vida loca. Alright, now let's talk about cons, man. Most people I saw talk about the cons and like annihilate the pros, man. There is, there is some pros. Another pro is if you want to get really famous around your society or whatever, juice up, you're going to look huge as fuck and people going to know you that like you're fucking juice head motherfucker. So you want to get fame, instant fame, you got to juice up. Okay, you don't got to juice up, man. Fuck that. You just, it's an easy way. It's a shortcut. It's a shortcut. You want to take a shortcut or you a hard worker that wants to put in the game. Alright, welcome to the game. A fucking juice is like a fucking cheat code. You know what I mean? A cheat code. Once you play the cheat code in GTA, you don't want to play normal. You always want to play with the cheat code, bro. <laughs> And that's, that's a pro as a cheat code. You get the cheat code, bro. But now I'm going to talk about the cons, man. Now, cons. Once you stop, all right, you go back to your natural potential. You ain't going to juice no more and you're going to go back to being a normal dude. You feel like a superhuman, superman, powerful motherfucker. But once you stop that, you go back to your natural power, your natural physique. And some people don't like that, bro. If you go back on juice, people cruise it. And some people blast it. Right? There's blast and there's cruise. Blast is you're always on. You're never off. You're always blasting. You're always going hard on that juice. And once you cruise it, you're going up and then you're going, you have cruising phases. You, you still take some, but just low dosage. And then you blast and then you cruise. But some people always blast. Never cruise. And that's fucked up, bro. You're going to get some serious injuries. Long run, bro. Blasting is never lasting. Right? Now, number two. Your testosterone is going to get fucked up. It's gonna go back to zero and below zero. You know, it's not even gonna go back to your natural level, which is normal. It's gonna be below natural level. So, that's why people, when they're off juice, they tend to act feminine. They tend to, you know, act kind of weird, man, when they're not on that stuff. Because when you're on it, you should be like a superhuman when you're off, man. Your testosterone is down, everything is down, you start getting emotional easily, you know. And uh, fuck that, bro, you don't want to get fucking emotional, man. Uh, you know, because your testosterone may, goes down to zero and below zero. So imagine how that feels, man. I don't want to know how that feels, man, if my test is below zero. There are some ways that you play it safe where you keep your test normal, not normal, well, not zero though. I don't know man, but I have not tried so but I've heard and I've seen people taking some pills after juicing that keeps their testosterone at the level where it's not zero, you know, to stabilize it and until it gets back to its normal levels after a while. It always gets back to the normal level, alright? Some people get scared because once they stop the juice, they feel like I mean they can't fucking you know Get an erection, you know what I mean? I'm talking honest truth, bro. You can't get an erection if you don't play it safe, really. But you gotta play it safe if you're ever gonna use that shit. Alright? And third, you get depression, okay? And some psychological disorders. I mean, once you, I mean, when you lose all that gains, all those gains are gone, you're gonna feel some kind of depression, my homie. I mean, you lost fucking massive amounts of gains, your power drops all of a sudden for no reason. You still go to the gym and your power drops. That affects you mentally. That really 
affects you. So you gotta learn if you're ever gonna take that. This comes with the package, you know. If you, you're gonna take some juice, you know, handle it when you're not on that juice. You're not gonna be a superhuman monster gorilla motherfucker in the gym. You're gonna be a normal dude, alright? Okay, and fourth, acne and baldness. Most bodybuilders, not more, not more, a lot of bodybuilders, lose their hair due to steroids. It, cause, it may cause hair loss and definitely will cause acne. And that's something that comes with the package. You gotta face acne and hair loss. Now, fifth, you're more prone to heart attack. You're four times more prone to have a stroke once you're on that juice. So that comes with the package, man. You got your, your fucking bloods, your veiny, your shit, shit your, your fucking uh, roadmap walking. That blood flow is not natural, my homie. So you definitely have more chance for your heart stopping on you, man. You can't take it. So you four times, you have four times more chance of getting a stroke than normal do. But hey man, if you're a superhuman, who cares if you die, right? You died a superhuman, a super natural human being, man. You die like that, you know. You're gonna fucking make you a grave that's four times natural human size. Alright, two. Number six, you get really aggressive. You get aggressive, you got some you want you get that's that's natural. Your hormones are fucking off the roof. You get aggressive. You might not get a meal and fucking kill someone for not getting a meal, you know? Some pro wrestlers and pro baseball players, they were juicing up. This game is not for bodybuilding. It's for the whole sport industry. Steroids is there. Fighting, boxing, you know, it's there. And even though they test you, some guy juice. Some guys just juice. To be the best, you gotta do what the best do and the best juice up, right? So, yes, comes with the package. And seventh, man, you gotta inject your ass a lot, a lot, really a lot. You gotta inject your ass a lot every day. And I fucking hate injections. I don't know about you, but I fucking hate injections. Uh, so, if you want, if you love injecting your ass and once you're ass is fully loaded with injection, you got no place for your ass, then you inject your thighs. Because you got no place. Your, your, your fucking ass has a road map of fucking needle, <laughs> needle marks. Alright? So that's about it. You want to juice or you want to stay natural. But if you want to fucking compete, don't compete natural, man. You can't be a chihuahua <laughs> facing fucking pit bulls, bulldogs, and fucking rottweilers. You gotta be a motherfucking gorilla among dogs, right? So, that's the pros and cons of steroids. So, homies, hope you like this. I'm just talking true facts. I don't talk bullshit. Snatty, I'm out.